But we often start in the present and we project into the future. We forecast, right? And so what is, what's, the, what's the good news and the bad news? The good news, we have, what, what do we know, do we know anything about the past? Presumably, right? <laughs> so, so as a result, um, and I, I, I'm sure Jim would be the first to say that historians argue about whether what, what really happened, but you know, we do know something about the past, so having no, knowing something about the past gives us some benchmarks for moving into the future. That's helpful. The downside is, right, you've got the Einstein problem. You know, the same ideas that you used to create this problem, you're trying to use to fix it. So now you've got to think about, well, what's going next? So what, um, uh, w one of the ways to approach this is to start out in the future and come back. Well, you do this all the time. I mean, I'm looking around the room, and some of you are, are going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Maybe today. Uh -huh. I'm in that boat, too. So, so I'm, I'm, you know, and so what, it, it, if you just let it go, it, you will get somewhere. But if you stop and say, what do I want to look like at age 80 or uh, 90 or whatever, and what do I want happening, then I work back to the present. Then it makes makes life a little different. Now, does that mean that I'll actually get it? No. Does that mean that the vision will change? Yes, it will. You can guarantee it. It's just that if you routinely start doing it, you live out in the future first and then work back to the present, then it makes present time behavior meaningful. So you ask your students, you know, you, you know, you've been around with the young, the young students, what are you going to do? Eh, I'm just going to college, you know. Well, it's okay. I mean, on one hand, it's okay. It's just like an inactive, there, you know, it's an inactive view of the future. It's just like, I'm going with the flow. All right. Well, that's all right. I mean, it's better than robbing banks. But uh, the other side of it is that, it, it, but you can get, so what, where, where do you really want to end up? You know, do you have any thoughts about that? Well, yeah, I want to do X. Okay, good. Now, now what, right? We start working back from there to the present. Now, do you see why you have to take history? No. Well, here's why, right? Let me help you. Let me explain it for you relative to where you want to be, right? You know, and, and so that's, that's where I'm going with it. It starts making The other thing that's useful here, and I didn't put this in the set, but I just started doing it. When we start talking about systems, I ask them to list all their classes, and I say, do you, so you get math and history and social and, you know, biology and so forth. And I say, do you see the relationship between these, among these? They say no, right? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, whose fault is that? You got to economics department, you got an IV department, you got, you know what I'm saying, you got sociology, and we just want to preserve those little bastions, and, <laughs> notice I said bastions, and so we're, and, 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 so, and then, so I said, well, take these things, then take these things, and now try to do a cross-impact matrix, you know, put all those courses here, and all those courses here, and see if they interact with each other. Oh, that's why I got to do this. You see where I'm going? And make, then they say, okay, and now I'm, 